want. I mean, action is fun to design, comedy, you bring funny people together and they do funny stuff. Uh, I think what really what makes movies like this really land and be great is heart and emotion and relatability. So yeah, it's a lot of fun that Sonic has super speed and that he's awesome and fast talking, but you want the audience to, to really be rooting for him on a deeper level, on an emotional level. So I think that creating that relatability and that kind of connection and for kids and parents and anyone of all ages to see a little bit of himself in Sonic and to be rooting for him for that reason, that, that really is what I think we worked the hardest on. And, and when people online said, no, we don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we had time, sure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. That leads into my next question. <laughs> that was your favorite. Let's have a soda. <laughs> 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 No, thank you so much for bringing that up because I do want to address the fact that when you guys first released the trailer, um, some of the fans said, hey, this isn't the Sonic that we sort of envisioned for this movie. Um, what was your reaction to that and how did it sort of um, alter the course of the film? It was just message received. I think it was, uh, you got to respect the fans. I mean, they're the reason we had the opportunity to make this movie. They've loved Sonic for almost 30 years. You got to listen to that. I mean, we, we were so excited about the story. We have to tell, so excited, had so much fun making the movie. We were just really wanted the audience and, and the core fans to just to be on board in a big way. And if that meant going back to the drawing board a little bit with Sonic, then we were happy to do it. And we could not be more excited about where 